Uh, welcome back to my boys Koi. So it's Monday morning, the day after the Koi Kichi auctions on Sunday evening at 7 30 pm every single Sunday. So the, what I'm doing this morning is bagging fish and getting them ready to go to the new homes. I've got two of the two lots of the auction fish going out today. But so bear in mind the only bought these 7 30 last night and I've got them packed today. So they're going to be getting collected around 12 o'clock and they'll be at the new home tomorrow before 1 pm, which is a fantastic service. Um, that we like to offer as soon as you buy the fish if I can get them out I'll get them out so in this bowl down here in the bag we've got two peritina two platinum old ones uh, someone seen one sell last night on the auction messaged me this morning and said I want two of them I said I've got two of them so he bought them straight away and they're also going out today so literally within hours of them buying the fish the fish are now packed up and waiting to uh, be well they're about to be tied up bag and uh, on the way so I'm gonna go and get some oxygen in this bag now. Get these fish all taped up and uh, they're gonna be on the way, so I'll snap back to you in a minute. So we've got the uh, three lots of fish going out today. Just been bagged, double bagged oxygen. Uh, ammonia tests have been done this morning before the water from the ponds obviously was in the bag. If there would have been any trace of ammonia, then I would have had to use clean up uh, clean water, but there wasn't so fantastic. So yeah, got them in there, them in there, and then this was a father and son, but son bought three, father bought one, so I'm put them together, I'm just going to pack this box out a little bit so they don't rattle around, and uh, they're about to all get taped up now and moved out of this sun, because it's absolutely roasting again today. But let me show you what I'm doing down here, I'm just going to actually get this done and then I'll show you. So, that's all them um, boxed and bagged and... Yeah, so they're they're all looking good now, um, ready to go. Packed out that other box with the with the two lots of fish in it as well. So for everyone who doesn't know, all these are sold. Yeah, sold me um, sold all of me fish. That was um, one's going to Dean from Dino, um, which is the old girl. She's about eleven, so didn't really want to sell it. So Dean's kindly taking it for me. And the rest have been sold to one person. He um, he's got a ten thousand gallon pond, which is nearly finished. So I'm gonna keep these rolls another four weeks, give him a chance to get that pond finished. Um, even though it's eleven decent sized fish, the size of the pond and the filtration he's got on it is unreal. So they will settle in nicely in there, and it'll be a good start for that pond as well. So we'll have eleven nice sized fish in there. So yeah, but it's really sad to see them go. But I'm glad they're going to a massive pond and a great home. Let me spin you around and show you this. So this is what I've been working on, I haven't vlogged any of it to be honest because there's not really a whole lot to vlog, I've only been doing bits and bobs. Need to go and get some more sand and sand today so I can get this uh, floor fully fully screeded. And uh, this is going to be my winter grow one, so it'll be around 2,000, 2,500 litres, I haven't really worked out yet. I'm going to get some more block and bring it up a little bit higher. Um, bottom drain, page going to go out as well. I'm just going to put filtration here, I'm not sure whether to go with a small drum or to put Easy Pod, Tempest and Backy Shower, which I think that's what I'm going to go because I really like the Easy Pods to be honest. Um, Tempest and Backy Shower is just going to add extra filtration so I can whack the food in here and get a lot of food in. So what the plan is, bring this up another two courses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the batten higher along the back wall and round for the liner. So that if I ever decide that really it could be another two courses higher, I'm just going to leave the, the overhang of the liner so I could always pull it back, stick another two or three courses on it without ever messing around. I'm going to clad all the walls and insulate. I'm going to clad the ceiling and insulate that. I'm going to put a, a UPVC window in there, get some natural light coming in. So if, if, I might be I might I might do something to extra insulation if if I need it, but really UPVC I should be able to block that up nice and tight and it should keep the heat in. And yeah, so this whole room is gonna be a total sauna essentially and this is gonna be where I'm gonna grow on around twenty to twenty-five uh at the toe site uh, to become big fish for next year. So it'll be interesting, give keep a bit of winter winter content for you. And for someone who's not a bricky, not a block, you know, never really work with this part of my main pond, I don't think I've done too bad, to be honest. Yeah, my pointing's not great, my walls are straight. Yeah, I got the height, got the, got, got the nice and straight. And, yeah, so I'm happy with that. But, as I say, I'm not a, I'm not a you know, I'm not. this is not my job. I've only ever done it twice, including this one, so don't hold it against me. Get this done today, um, and then start the cladding. Be great, and here when it's done. 
but it is absolutely roasting. When did we get summer in September? What, what's that about? There's the three boxes sat in the shade, all packed up, waiting to go to the new homes, which is fantastic. Keep them out that sun. You don't want to stay sitting in that sun, whether in a cardboard box or not. The green pond here with nothing in at the moment. I picked up a temper, um, a temper, a neck, uh, an easy pod. <laughs> Jesus, I've been saying it. I picked up an easy pod from one of my subscribers yesterday. He was selling one, and Scrag68 has also picked me up another one. So I can get them two ponds on easy pods. Now, I really swear by easy pods, as long as you control your water, they're not gonna ha you can't hammer that food only on an easy pod. You've got to be careful. But they are really good um, uh, filtration, and I do swear by them. So check an easy pod out. Um, in here, the two heated grow ons. This one is now being the big one is now being reduced down because the achiever for the growing shower in there. So the temperature's slowly getting dropped now over the next few weeks. Still piling in food because they're still eating them. We still we got, we got the weather for it, but I'm just slowly reducing that temperature down now to get them to ambience before the um, the growing show. The growing show. So the growing show is in Wrexham on the 30th of September in the House Hall Lodge. It's going to be a great day. I, I wasn't going to initially, but now I'm going to take a lot of fish with me for sale on the day. I'm going to have amazing bargains, um, and I'm, I'm going to aim to please as well. So there'll be a lot of good fish at good prices on the growing show day for sale. So make sure you bring some money with you. It is an open event. So you don't have to have a ticket to enter, but tickets are running low. And it's mainly because we could have had as many, but I haven't got enough achiever of the same size. Some of them are too small. I don't think that's fair. So... We are running low on, on tickets, I reckon another five or six tickets and I'm going to have to knock it on the head to be honest because um, I, I, I don't want people to be disappointed, this is all about making people happy for a good price so yeah, unfortunately I am going to have to draw the line at another five or six, I've got about 50 Achiever right now, I reckon maybe 10 or so aren't, um, aren't big enough so unfortunately yeah, that's going to be that, look at that view. And the new shop as well. I'm, I'm really looking forward to telling everyone about that and showing everyone around, but there's still stuff to come there. So I've been told by Becky that I, I can't uh, I can't say too much, unfortunately. So it'll, uh, it's coming, it's coming. It'll be good when it's done. Um, looking forward to it, really am. It'll be fantastic. And just looking at some acres over there in the field. So anyway, I'm just buffling on now. I just thought I haven't shown anyone around for a while. Uh, everything's going good. Koya selling, messages all the time for fish, the shop's opening, my main pond as much as gutters to get rid of them, they're going to a fantastic home, the winter grow on's nearly ready, uh, yeah I think everything's working well, the website now, dabdogs.co.uk, <laughs> dabdogs, Jesus, I've got dabs on, on my mind, myboyskoi.com is now live, I just need to get more products on there and get fish on there, but myboyskoi.com is now an official website as well, so that'll be a... Um, start having some winter deals and stuff put on there very shortly and yeah it's uh, slowly but surely it's all coming together now so appreciate everyone's getting involved in the auction appreciate everyone's bought fish you messages just me and show support who's coming to the growing show um who comes and says hello at the shows who comments on me videos whatever it may be i do appreciate it i really do you have made this dream a reality and i'm just going to keep it going so onwards and upwards there's no sky's the limit i'm not stopping at any point now so Keep watching. If you haven't if you haven't uh, done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Hit the like as well while you're there. I'll catch you all soon. Bye.